हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी शोइंग यू दैट हाउ टू कन्वर्ट ए इमेज टू ए बेस 64 कोड एंड डिस्प्ले दैट कोड इनसाइड द टेक्स्ट एरिया इनसाइड एंगुलर 13 काइंड ऑफ एप्लीकेशन फॉर दिस वी विल बी यूजिंग ऑब्जर्वेबल कांसेप्ट ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेबल इन एंगुलर यू हैव नोन दिस कांसेप्ट ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेबल सो यू कैन सी इफ आई रिफ्रेश द एप्लीकेशन there will be a choose file button if you click this button you will be redirected to choose a particular png or jpg file if i select these file you will see that this is the image is dis displayed on the screen alongside with the base 64 code of the image so every image has a unique base 64 code so it is not limited to any uh, all only images you can select any file of your choice you can also select a pdf file which is every file every format of the file has a unique base 64 code so specifically we are taking examples of images so you will see you can take any image of your choice jpg png any extension image and this will display the base 64 code inside the text area so this is done using angular 13 application using the concept of observable so let's start building this application from scratch guys i have given the full source code in the video description this is the blog post i have written i have given the link in the video description this is all the source code is given to you so let's start building this application so first of all guys you need to make a angular 13 project brand new project let me delete all the source code and start from scratch so that you don't have and fail don't have to face any sort of problem let me delete all this so now you will see that guys it is now brand new project if i refresh it nothing is there blank page is there so the very first thing guys what we need to do is that inside of a brand new project you need to go to app.module.ts file and here you need to import the form module which is uh, you will simply say import forms module from at the rate angular slash forms so you need to be having this form module because we are using text area for that purpose we will be using this form module after this go to imports and add this form module like this so just close this file we don't need this file anymore and now go to app.component.html file and here we will be having a simple input field input type of file and uh, when we click on the file this on change method will take place this is the event method so we will make this method which will be on change and here we will pass the event as an argument like this so now we need to make this function which is uh, inside our app.component.ts file so here we can simply declare two variables guys first for the image which will be displayed we can call this as my image and not sign is equal to this will be of the type observable observable we will be using this concept observable of any so here guys you need to import observable here so i will add import from rxjs you will see automatically this will have after this guys you also need to make a base 64 code which will be displayed which will be of the type any that's it so these are the two variables which we have declared so after this guys we will write that function which is on change so this will take the event object this will be of the type event and here guys what we need to do is that we need to first of all get the image so we will simply say const target so this will be a arrow function guys so just make it as arrow function const target and now we will be using this event dot target method and inside this we will say that as html input an element and uh, just put a semicolon and in the next line we will get the actual file so which is of the type file and inside this we will be using this target dot files this will be an array 
so we will only be using the first element so the first element we can use using file list so file list we will get the first first element which is index 0 that's it so now we can console log the base 64 code like this console log file this is the actual file which holds all the information about the file which is name so if i refresh it now if i select this file go to the inspect element and go to console so you will see this will be a file object which contains all the information about the uh, file which is name size all that information now we need to convert this to a base 64 code so for this we will be declaring a new function which will be this dot convert to base 64 and here we will pass the actual file so right here we need to make this function guys which is convert to base 64 which will take the actual file which is of the five file and here we will use the observable like this and uh, we need to instantiate a new instance of observable like this and here what we need to do is that we need to make a subscriber this is actual syntax of uh, having the subscriber so you need to import this subscriber module as well from uh, rxjs so this will import it you will see that automatically so right here what we need to do is that guys we need to read the file so this dot read file so we need to make this function so we will pass the actual file and the subscriber so here we need to make this file uh, sorry make this method which is uh, read file so which will actually read the file read file so just do this uh, it will take the actual file here and the second is a uh, subscriber which is of the type any so you need to write this is typescript so type checking is there so after doing this guys here we need to make a new instance of file reader file reader so just put a semicolon and after this we will read this file reader dot and this has a method which is read as data URL so this will actually convert it to the base 64 code and we will pass the actual file so this contains some methods guys which is the callback methods so when it loads for the very first time this contains a on load so when it loads for the very first time we can write this inside this we can call subscriber.next and we can pass the result which comes out file reader dot result and then we can call subscriber dot complete and also there is a error callback as well so if any sort of error take place we have an error callback So this is on error. So if any sort of error take place, we have the error method in subscriber. We can call this and then we can call subscriber complete. So that's all guys. We need to light it inside read file function. Now we can come back again to this convert to base 64. After we do this right after this we can simply say observable dot subscribe and 
the response will be coming back inside this d parameter you can call this anything we can console log also just to verify so this will be the base 64 code so if i see if i select the image and if i select inspect element go to console so you will see this is all the garbage code you can see here this is base 64 code it's a very long code so now we need to display it inside the text area and also we need to display the image so it is very easy we have declared these two variables which is my image on base 64 code so this dot my image d and also this dot base 64 code is equal to d that's it now you need to go to app.component.html file and in order to display the image it is very simple we will have a simple if condition of angular which is uh, star ng if so basically we will check here if my image is initialized then only we need to display this because we have declared this variable here you will see that my image this needs to be capital my image and then if it is we can display this the source property so this will be equal to my image you can provide a custom width to it to the image 500 or you can change this to anything 500 500 this is in pixels so close the image and after the image you can display inside text area which is columns 50 rows 50 and for this we can use the ng model so that's it so this completes our application guys let me see if it is now working so if i select this image you will see that this is displaying this image and on the right hand side it is displaying all the base 64 code you can copy paste it of every image so this is valid for any image that you can select you can see that so thanks very much guys for watching this video please hit the like button subscribe the channel and if you want to get all the source code i have given the link in the video description just go to it and download the source code and i will be seeing you in the next video